This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by HostGator Web Hosting. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks from Mac OS X line. In this first 24 hours, it's already been downloaded over a million times. I know a lot of people out there are just wondering what little things and changes that Apple actually make to this OS. I'm going to show you some of those things right now, starting with the dumbest, the dumbest change that they made as far as the default scrolling. Now, I'm going to show you here in Safari. As I'm trying to scroll down on the page, it goes up. Very stupid, right? When I scroll up, you know, look at that. It goes down. I don't like that. That's how iOS works, but I don't want that on my desktop. Uh, now, to get rid of that, you need to go to, oh, there it is. You need to go to System Preferences here and uh, go to the trackpad. And under the Scroll and Zoom section, you just need to uncheck this first box. And it'll change it from the Apple natural way of scrolling back to the human way of scrolling. Now, while I'm also in here, I'm going to show you how to actually add a personal message to the lock screen. So, do you have your computer password protected? You know, that screen you need to enter your password. You can have a little message down below. You need to go to Security and privacy then you need to hit this little lock here and, and enter in your password there and after you enter in there unlock it I'm not showing you this of course and then now right here the fourth box down from the top here you can check that up and now you can enter in a personal message so you can enter in something serious and just in case you have a laptop you can enter in like a phone number where they can call you and return it to you or you can enter in something stupid like I just did right here so that's how you enter in that little message there for the lock screen all right now I'm going to show you something to find a real quick and this is something that just irks my nerve here say you got a memory card plugged into your computer and you get ready to uh, eject it and put it back in your camera you just want to know how much storage that you actually have left on it now as a default line you actually have to like right click it and go to get info and figure out you know how much space or how much capacity you got left uh, because it used to have the little status bar down here now in order to re-enable that it's very simple just go to view up here at the top and hit show status bar very simple right and now I'll show you how much actually uh, storage that you have on your memory card it's just something that just got on my nerves and that's why I showed you all right now I'm gonna go ahead and open up Safari again here now I'm gonna show you something real quick you can do with the uh, trackpad so say you're you I don't know what hardware is right <laughs> That'd be pretty stupid. But I don't know what hardware is. I can actually double tap with three fingers and I'll bring it up the dictionary, the source, and the Wikipedia um, information about that word, whatever you're trying to find out. And you can actually click on one of these. I'm going to click on this Wikipedia here. It'll open up another window here and give you a little bit more information. So this is something pretty cool to do uh, just using the multi touch gesture. Now, coming here to the uh, uh, keys here. So, say you want to type in an accent character, you know, the little letters that have little squiggly lines above them that you probably never even use. I never use one in real life. Uh, you can just tap and hold on to the key on the keyboard. It'll bring up this little menu here. You can use the arrow keys to kind of search through the which one you're trying to look for or you can just type in the number say number four there I can type in number four and boom there it is there's something that um, it's probably the least amount of useful information that a lot of people out there won't be able to use but I just told you so um, I guess <laughs> there it is it's pretty stupid right but anyway also Apple has made it the uh, has entered the emoji um, icons or characters into their little character board here and the special characters there it is so you can just go into special characters really from almost any application and uh, there they are right there now you can kind of just drag and drop them let me see I'm gonna get this frog over here all right there you go now you just drag and drop it to whatever you're trying to type in and so those are the same characters that you can kind of find on the iOS platform as well and now let me go ahead and open a mission control three finger swipe up on the trackpad and so say you want to look into the desktop too but you actually don't want to go into desktop two just yet or leave mission control you can hold down the option key and tap on desktop two it'll actually just bring this information here now you can mess around with it if you want to and move this over to another uh, desktop you want to do something like that and you just keep holding that option key and kind of search through all these different desktops without actually leaving the mission control to kind of keep it um, right there for you at your hands until you're ready to go just unleash uh, the uh, unleash what is that release uh, the option key and just tap right back into the um, actual desktop that you want to start working in all right now I'm going to show you something real quick with quick time me find it real quick all right there it is now if you didn't know already you can actually record your desktop and do screen recordings with quick time but now you got a, another option here let me go ahead and open it up real quick and I failed right there and there it is screen recording now you can actually choose what part of the screen that you want to record Record. so you can just drag this over here and kind of move this around and you just have just one section of the screen that you want to record this can be very very useful uh, if you're trying to show some people some type of tutorial or do something like that so that's how you do that and just press escape if you want to cancel that and that's quick time X real quick there for you all right now to a couple questions I'm getting asked a lot and the first question is how do you create a restore CD of Mac OS 10 line because it is only digital now you can only download this from the Mac App Store because Apple isn't selling box versions of it I'm gonna show you how to do it here real quick and preferably you'll want to do this right before and you install Mac OS 10 line so after you download it from the Mac applications tour you want to go into your applications folder and you'll see a little application that says install Mac OS 10 line or install line and then you want to uh, right click that 
and go to show package contents now after you do that you'll see a folder that says contents you want to double click that and then now you'll see another folder that says share support and then you want to double click into that and then now you will actually see the DMG file which is going to be the install file and then be entitled install ESD then now what you want to do with that is just right click copy that and paste that to somewhere else on your hard drive or on your computer or just copy and paste it to your desktop and then now you actually need to go to actually burn a DVD of that file so what you want to do is open up disk utility and you can just do a quick little spotlight search for that hit command space bar then type in disk utility and then that will pop up and then you want to drag that file back into disk utility on the left hand side just drag it and drop it there and then now you can put in a DVD hit burn and there you go you have your own little restore disk for Mac OS 10 line now again um, after you do install Mac OS 10 line if, you're, if it's already too late for you um, you're not going to be able to find this file on your computer again you're going to need to download it from another source a torrent or somewhere else and be able to download that file to go ahead and make your own little restore disk but preferably if you haven't installed line yet you'll want to do that right before you hit the install and go ahead and do your business do your thing and all that good stuff now the second question I've been getting a lot is how do I install line on multiple computers so say I personally own three Macs but I don't want to buy Mac OS 10 line three different times you know an easy way to do this is just to log in into your same iTunes account on all of those computers and just re-download line it's not going to charge you again now if you are going to be logging into these computers for the first time uh, with that iTunes account it may have you verify the three-digit security code on that credit card that you use to register with that iTunes account but after you do that you're set to go just re-download line and you're back in business so those are just some quick tips and tricks of Mac OS 10 line I did make another video on my YouTube channel I'm going to a little bit more detail about some of the key features like mission control and, and launch pad and all that good stuff so if you watch me on revision 3 or somewhere else on the internet uh, you can actually go to my YouTube channel and check that video out but anyway guys before we totally head out of here I just want to take one last look at our sponsor for this video and that is HostGator HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in minutes. With plans starting at just $4.95 a month, you get 24-7 support and access to website building tools with over 4,000 templates. They'll even migrate your current site for free. Servers are 130% powered by wind energy, unlimited disk space and bandwidth, 45-day money-back guarantee, and $100 in Google AdWords credit to market your site. For Vision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off of your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and enter the code SOLDIERNOSE at checkout. All right, guys, what well, that brings an end to this video. Please leave a comment down below about these tips and tricks I just showed you. And also, if you have your own little bag of tricks, please leave a comment down below and let us know what is your secret. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching again, and I will catch you later. Peace.